behind me. All you have to do is make a like comment, like, comment, and be a subscriber. And uh, each week I give out two of them. And uh, I put that you saw them on the beginning of the video. Um, the original one way back over here, it's been discontinued, but it may come back later. And, and the other one has my comment. Remember, if you're not learning something new every day, you must be dead. Hey, uh, <clears throat> I got a vent today on this uh, video for a minute. Something happened this week. You know, last week I made a video on a Saturday of me going out, doing a Saturday job, a quick job. And I told you how much I made on the quick job. And um, I had posted to some groups, and Saturday is for my tool money. You know, any of you guys are subscribed or watch the jobs I do on Saturday is basically my tool money. It's a reward for me working hard all week. You know, it's like a fun thing for me. Uh, two things happened this week. Um, the 382 Vimeer 382 that guys think I'm buying it. No. The guy that's coming into my business to replace me with the contractors, uh, when I fade away, he bought that machine. So he's been running the ZT for the past two weeks till it got here, it got here. So he'll start running it and I'll make a video and introduce you guys to him later on. Something else happened. Uh, last Saturday, my son came to me and uh, he's a valedictorian of a major university cybersecurity and he came to me and says that I'm doing a lot of thinking I like being outside and I want to come into business with you so here I am giving up part of business it's okay I said hey it's so much work um, I'm going to show you how I take him from nothing and I'm waiting for the used 252 to be I got a deal with the Vermeer dealership I'm waiting for it to get certain repairs done to it before I accept to buy the used machine from them so once I get it, I'm gonna, it's got its own trailer. I'm gonna show you me taking him out. And also he needs a pickup, so we're gonna look for, you know, a pickup, a used pickup, an older one. You know, I'll just, you know what? I'm teaching him how I started. We can go out and buy a brand new grinder. We can go out and buy a brand new truck. No, I want him to show how to be debt free, you know? And some guys, I posted on what I did that last Saturday. Some guys took it all wrong. Like I was trying to brag or something. I normally don't talk about prices when I make and stuff. You know, the one time I just tried to tell you guys what I made for me going and doing a little bit out of town type job. I mean, it's like 45 minutes away, helping out another tree company. And um, hell, I took so much crap over that shit, I couldn't believe it. Uh, guys were hating on me. One guy even said, uh, I hope someone comes to your town and starts a business and takes all your business away from you and you fail. You know, I mean, so much crap was thrown at me. I was like, where is this coming from? You know, apparently I have given away the secrets. Secrets to what? I don't know. Because, you know, really, let's talk about my channel. What's my channel about? My channel is about you. The guy next door, the young kid, uh, uh, the guy who's trying to make an extra buck that works a regular job and wants to do something on the side. I don't care if it's changing brakes. If I change brakes on a certain model of car and you look it up and find me, I want to show you a cheaper way to do it or where I got the parts from to save you some money. Or I'm building that Crown Vic and I'm painting it. And I used to be a professional car painter years ago. I mean, actually, I got a degree in the in that and I'm showing you how I did it old school style okay and bringing old school into new school because some of you other youtubers who are friends of mine uh, have helped me bring myself up to speed so if they can bring an old fart like myself up to speed the old fart can bring some of you guys that never did it up to speed so uh, the channel is about cars about stub grinding and actually it's about the regular guy okay or girl, if you want to be a girl and that you like to, you know, fix things or whatever, it's about you too. You know, how to start a small lawn service, uh, how to do tree, a small tree service, how to freaking have a, I, I told you in one video how I got challenged and I built the business for under a hundred bucks on a, a, a flower bed cleaning business for someone. You know, it, it didn't work out for them in the end after a year because physically they couldn't do it. 
but I built it. I built it in one week for them. You know, I mean, it's all about getting off your, sorry, man. It's all about getting off your nutsack and doing something, you know, doing something. And, and, you know, maybe you might be in debt. So, you know, maybe go to work part-time. A lot of tree services, if they work on a Saturday, see if you can be a ground man from just dragging brush, learn things or whatever. Lawn services. I am finding out from lawn guys that I, that I grind stumps for. I said, hey, how you doing? The guy pulls up to give me a check, and he's pissed off. And I said, whoa, did I do something wrong here? I said, you upset with me? He said, no, no, I'm, no I, uh, I'm having to pay over $17 an hour for a blooming idiot to, on my mowing crew because I can't get anybody. No one wants to work. No, no one wants to work. And he said, this guy's the worst guy I've ever seen in my life. I said, well, fire him. I said, well, we can't do without him. I need somebody to, to do something. I said, yeah, I understand. You know. Uh, you remember I made a video about the guys pouring the concrete at my house and the guy almost died, right? Guy comes back the next day. Well, actually, yeah, it was two days later. Where it comes back, pulling the forms and everything. I says, hey, how's the guy doing? This guy has the balls to tell me it's God's will. What's that? What do you mean? Did he not make it? Is he dead? What do you mean God's will? Oh, well, he, he got out of the hospital, spent, you know, two days in, in intensive care and stuff like that. But if he would have died, he would have died. It's God's will. So what the hell are you talking about? If it wasn't for me and Oscar, my neighbor, calling, calling EMS and the fire company and me bathing him down in ice and all, and while he was in seizures, he'd be dead. Well, it's, it's God's will. Guess what? I held back, you know, some money, uh, a G or so, from the job till he's completely finished. I said, I want this thing cleaned up and, you know, all the forms broke off, everything graded back. And he had a, uh, basically a small two-tie wall that he was finishing for me that he started on it. He never came back. He never came back because, I don't know, maybe it was God's will that he didn't want to come back. I don't want him back. I'm doing it myself. I'll be finishing it myself. Or I'll hire another guy. Guy that wants to come back in the evening or something like that to finish it up for me or whatever. You know, my mind is like, hey, I don't want to look at that right now. I'll do the back filling around the other stuff. I'll finish the wall on the side, you know. So, but the good news is my son came in to me. He came last Saturday and says, I want to come in, you know, the business. Would you train me, Dad, from the stretch? Now, my son's grown, he's stub ground before, but when he was very young. And he'd come here and there on a Saturday and help me, you know, get up walls and, and, and stuff like that or whatever. And I'd grind and all but this week, we started Monday, and today is Saturday morning. We started Monday, and he came every day. It was his job. And every day, I watched his confidence level build. It's taken such a load off of me, and, and I have such a love for my son to where I'm proud. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm tired, but I'm happy. But we've been quitting about 2, 3. Yesterday, we pushed it to 5.30. Companies wouldn't stop calling, please, Adam, please, please, please. You know, my other guy was on duty at the firehouse, so he couldn't jump in with the ZT. And I've been sending the ZT, you know, the guy running the ZT, all the smaller stuff. But luckily now we'll have that 382 where can, I can send him anything. You know, today I'm going to send him some jobs. But today we're going to a job that my son actually bid. He bid it on Monday, and we bid it properly. Good money. And later on, we'll see about it. The guy calls me back and says, hey, you come highly recommend it. Whatever you say, you got it. So a day later, we got the guy said, do it. So we're going to do it today. But I'm making this video this, this morning kind of event because guys are taking it the wrong way. I'm giving away the secrets. What, what secret am I giving away? How to repair something if you're broke down and you're some, some guy that no one wants to help or your dealership's freaking two and a half hours, maybe in another state. Your dealership is, or maybe you're like some guy Romy's in South Africa and he watched one of my videos and, and he was able to repair his machine. Or you're whatever, you you're in Australia. God, I love you guys, you know. And you got an American machine. And I showed you some aftermarket part or whatever you could get for it. Or, or the Mustangs or a Crown Vic or whatever. 
and you were able to up and running again. That's what it's for. I'm for helping people. It's not about money or anything. You know, I made enough money in my lifetime. All right, I'm well off. All right, I'm a pretty average Jew, and I didn't come from a, a golden spoon or silver spoon or whatever. No, my parents came over on a boat from Europe after the war with a, probably a freaking uh, little small little suitcase like they used to make, and that's it. All right, it wasn't stocked full of money and stuff like that. You know, it was like you know. We barely, you know, my, my grandfather was a very intelligent man, very educated man. He uh, spoke Hungarian, he spoke German, and uh, probably a few other languages, because whatever surrounded it. He was an educated man, and he spoke English, but, you know, he had the, the Arnold Schwarzenegger accent. And my father had that too. Very intelligent man. Worked, but my dad worked, learned to do both, his mind and his hands. And he said every man should have two vocations in his life. Should something change in the world? Well, COVID came and it changed the freaking world. Us with these that could repair things or do things, services, we've been working through COVID. Other people lost their jobs or whatever. So I'm sorry for the rant this week, but it's really to tell you, I love you guys. All you got, some guys came on there after I got the hate, the hate, the hate, jumped on there. And, and they were like pit bulls against them guys. And I want to say one thing. God bless you. You know what? I wrote something in there on the Facebook. Maybe I shouldn't have wrote it, but I was an emotional time. See this here? All right? It says HM. HM meant has meant, right? So even on the fire department, we took crap, okay? Because, you know, we weren't, you know, uh, every day in the house fire or whatever. But no. We carried one hour air packs, and if you needed us, we can go in there longer, and my guys are trained, we could stay in there longer. We didn't have to change a bottle, okay? And us, I had to be, think twice. It's what you can't see will kill you, all right? So you can walk in an area that could be a poisonous gas that you can't see, and people start falling, ding, ding, ding. Well, why are they dying? Boom, boom, boom. I'm the guy that's gotta figure that out. And I had a fantastic crew. The last of my crew retired last week. Safe to go home to his family. This thing's got cobwebs on it, dust, because I put it in a certain spot, really didn't want to look at it anymore. My wife says, what are you going to do with that thing? You know what, I'm going to hang it up in my shop so I can look at it every day. Because that's what changed me, and that's why I help people. I help people with that job. It was all about saving lives. And this job's about helping you if you're in debt to get out of debt. You know, one of my videos talked about a little bit about money and how to save a dollar, how a dollar can change you to a million over time. It's all stupid little things like that that no one wants to tell you. Okay? That's what I'm here for. Anyway, sorry for my rant. And um, I'm blessed with my son. I'm blessed with the new guy. I'm in trouble with my family. Not my wife, or the well, I was a little bit, because uh, I was thinking twice about my son, and my wife said, what, that's your son? And I said, don't worry, I got him, I got him, you know. And uh, all the members of my family are very upset with me, you know, about business dealings or whatever. I, I'm giving my business away for free. I'm not charging someone. I could sell my business. I've been offered money for my business, and I'm not taking money. I'm taking another guy and my son under my wings and let them continue on my little bitty empire, okay? They're good people and they're good men, and that's the only people I want to surround myself with. So if you're a prick or whatever you or a negative person, you know, I want to say get out of here, but no. If you are, hang around. I want to see if I can change you and you can become a good man and you can help. If you're driving down the road and you got a toolbox and you see a lady with kids with a flat tire or something, hood up or whatever it is, I want you to be the guy to pull over and help them. Or at least if, you don't, if you're scared to pull over, and I understand some places or whatever, pick up the cell phone and call. Call 911 and say, hey, non-emergency. Looks like a lady's in distress, flat tire, or whatever the hell. Can you send someone to assist her? At least do that. Can you do that? All right? You know I have stopped when a highway patrolman's on the side of the road. You know, them guys, they, they have to wear their hat. 
and they got the uniform on and they're clean and he's changing the tire and I've got a cordless impact in my truck and I pull up behind him and you know, he's like, oh, what do we do? I identify myself, I take out my impact and I change the tire for him. What did it take you, three seconds? Bam, 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 bam. Put on the tire, bam. And he looks at me and goes, man, thanks. You know, I says, hey, I'm already dirty. You just got, you got the rest of your shift to run and you're on the highway all by yourself. Thank you for stopping. Thank you for even changing the tire. Because some police officers, you know, not highway patrolmen, but regular police officers, are not trained in changing the freaking tire. They'll say, well, do you have AAA? I call a tow truck for you. Highway patrolmen, I got, you know, a lot for you. Because you know what? You're alone on the highway, and you're by yourself. And I've stopped many times at a car crash to get out. And he's troopers by himself, overwhelmed, and I've helped them. So even you. You could always help a cop. You could stop if a trooper is out there and he's, he's got an accident. Somehow, some way, you could help him and assist him. Maybe he's dragging someone out or whatever. Think about it. We're all human beings. God bless you. See you on the next one.